using an eight millimeter socket or you can use a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and start disconnecting the clamps and hoses to remove the intake unit here. So we'll start by loosening these. Then the engine cover just kind of pop that up. And you wanna go ahead and get to this hose clamp right here and loosen that. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, we wanna go ahead and remove this bolt right here. And take that bolt out and set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and pull the intake tube off of the air box here. That's loose. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on this. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up. Separate this unit. Well, underneath, you want to go ahead and pinch this little tab right here, pull that off, and set this aside. Before performing this job, you're going to want to make sure that you have an ETC scan tool to program the relearn for the throttle body. If you don't have one, you're going to want to go ahead and have a local shop perform this job for you. I want to go ahead and lift up on this red tab, pinch the connector, and remove this harness from the throttle body. Using an eight millimeter socket, deep socket, you wanna go ahead and remove these four bolts around the perimeter. and remove the throttle body from the intake. I'm just gonna clean the face of the gasket here on the intake before the new throttle body goes on. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the new throttle body. Go ahead and get the screws started here by hand. Once you get those started, we'll go ahead and snug them up in a crisscross pattern. Once you have them bottomed, I'm just going to snug them in a crisscross pattern. So once you have these snugged down, you want to go ahead and torque all four of these here uh, to 50 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern. Reconnect the connector and then press that lock tab on. All right, well, installing the air box here, there's a metal post right here that's going to insert into the bottom part here. And then we also have a connector to go to one of the uh, intake temp sensors right here. So I wanna go ahead and get this connected. We'll line up that connector, snap that on. And then we're gonna go ahead and try lining up the bottom. While we're doing this, we also wanna pay attention to the uh, portion here, to the air box. Uh, and a filter. So you have three different things that you're trying to do to get lined up. Sometimes I'll just run a pick on the inside here just to get these little nubs around and get that popped on. Now you have a 10 millimeter bolt that goes in the back side right here. I want to get that started by hand. Snug that down. Using your eight millimeter, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the hose clamp here. I'm gonna go ahead and snug up the two of these. And take the engine cover, slide that back in underneath. that up and press it down on top of the mounting studs. 